man people will come back to the channel don't know the boy climber so today me there warm and I'm going to match some, some food as eat people alright, I don't know me I'm going to match out yet but we just stick on here too now watch what I'm going to eat so you man me people right about now we we'll are cook some liver and some dumpling, some green banana colors are going to come and match out the flour you know people so right now I'm going to go in the fridge and take out the liver you know I'm going to deliver here now. Get it washed up. And get it washed in some lime juice, you know, people. So, I'm going to go here now. Wash it. So, I'm going to get it first wash up before me to put the lime juice on it, people. Fresh water, eating some lime juice. Get it cut up and all people. Sorry, I won't know. Looking for some of the milk. As I don't get them cut up and get some box milk because some of the bitter taste of it go and soak in some box milk for them people. Some macaron season. I'm not going to wash up now. I'm going to turn the wash up now. So when people we are getting onion, scallion and sweet pepper cut up, I'm going to get the tomato them. Bend up in my people as I want some tomato sauce. You know? I'm going to get them to bend up and I'm going to get them cut up. So 
Ito po yung sweepy pa yan. Ano? Kailangan ko ito pa na. Ayan, so guys, ang gawin sa palitap. Then, may ako move on to ito mito na gano'n. Then, ko ito pa na blend up. Them small, like Get it cover, no? Then that's not working. So you want beef me, I'm going there now with the season fryer. Yeah, if you had those happy pieces, they had no, don't just see it. You now watch what God. So, you want me people right about now? Yeah, I got some. I get in it. Not try to season them. Getting some sweet pepper, and onion. I'm going to put it in the season. 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 Okay. 
garlic powder that is all right making some paprika and all the people and too much that is good making some more great maggi season Jerk season when hot, I guess you look a bit like no. I can't wait to make up. Look at that look. Most of that. Okay, I'm going to turn on. I'm not sure how that season is blending. Get in some water and some paper. Get it covered down with the water and cook. Then go ahead and come in. Watch the flow. Okay, let me see my own and press bars, you know. So get it covered down now. Get the fire table because we was doing a live and the pot covered chop and breaks so. up. Get in. Get a fire table. So I'm going to be able to make a little pot of chicken now. Bubbling nicely. So I'm going to put a brown in. I'm going to give it a little color. So. Alright. I'm going to put it in the middle. I'm going to put it in the middle. I'm going to put it in the middle. Ketchup. Cut that. I don't know how long I'm going to I'm going to get up. Five more minutes and then we'll take it off after the fire and then put us for much to the floor and yeah people check in. Alright, so right now we're gonna match up some flour quick and fast. Got some green banana same way. You see me? Climber, have him live all there so I go and come down. See? Alright, so right you now, we have a different style for one today. I don't know, so we don't make regular dumpling anymore. Yeah? No regular dumpling around here, so. Right now, this are the pre. We call that one here coffee dumpling, yeah? Yeah. Coffee dumpling, where will you go? <laughs> when the quarantine thing done and everybody touch road. Wanna know where to go? Check it out. Coffee dumpling. Alright. So what the prayer now? I got some hot water. Me. Set the cake off here. Add some water. Cause we are basically draw the coffee first. Yeah? The coffee are the this is another one with the wallipa jugs. The coffee here melt as the as hot water touch it, it melt. See? And we're using hot water because we want to get everything from the coffee, all of the strength. So I get in some hot water. See the steam will come off of the water straight from the kettle. Alright. 
So I try to put in as much water as I need to knead the flour. Now of course, if I add too much water, I just throw it in the pot. And I know might have say, why am I not just put the coffee in the pot when I boil the dumpling? You know? But this is how we're doing it, alright? So, get a nice little turn around and then here we go go on. This pipe in hot, you know. Can't touch this, you know. So, we have to go make it cool for a while. And why I know, say, we're not supposed to put hot things in the fridge today. We have broke the rule there. Because we can't sit down and wait for it for cool. Naturally, you know. So, we're going to get this in our freezer. See? I'm going to make it cool down quick and fast. Hot like fire, boy. Oh, yes. Hot. Alright. Let's see if we can get it. Right there, sir. Ha. Alright, we give it about probably 10 minutes or so. Because the fridge is bad enough, probably even less than that. And it's supposed to be cool enough where we can manage without burning up myself. So stay tuned until then. Alright people, so I got my floor right here, so you know how the thing go. You need a little salt. Now in Jamaica we don't measure salt, you just know say put until you put enough. Alright, and food pot never salt and it never fresh. Always balance. You know, you have to develop, develop that skills. Skill set is it in cooking. Alright. So right here, as you can see, I got my coffee. See? If you just seen this, I actually get the coffee in, right? And put it in some hot water, then I put it to cool. Now, if you're like me and you don't have the time, you can put it in your freezer like what we do, even though we know say yo. It's not recommended to put our things in the fridge, but this is the coffee me I use. See, this is not the one we have to strain. All right, that one is the smooth one. See, what we're gonna need, and you're not sweeten the coffee. See, yeah, you're not gonna sweeten the coffee. So no sugar, no milk, just water. Alright, or if you have the coffee bean itself, then you can grind it out and do it that way. Hey man, we pat the pan if I go on hot already for put in dumpling, you know. And please make your coffee cool. So you know, uh, burn up your finger then. Mine is feeling a little bit warm, but we don't watch that because we know say we can manage it, you know. Yeah, it's not hot. It's just a little bit warm. And guys, just in case you're new and you don't know the channel, check out Colasmith TV right there. So right now you're watching Climate Adventure. Colasmith TV is all about creative cooking. So of course, everybody who associate with me I go be creative in that sense, you know, so you might see creative cooking from the other guys on the team as well, you know, because they say, I was saying in a Jamaica with Japa have a head, Japa and shoulder, so you don't know, say, everybody I got your inspiration, you know, so that's why you're seeing all of these 
creative cooking. I know enough of you might say it's crazy cooking, but it's, <laughs> it's creative cooking. You see it? Yeah. At one point, we decided to say, yo, we're tired of the old, same old, traditional. Just add water to flour. Just, just cook your meat the same way. You know? Creative brain just tell you, say, yo, cooking is an art form, so we have to get creative. Yeah. Try something. If it fails, yeah, revisit it and try again. Add something different. So Probably. You can't find the merch, you know? The merch? Yeah. Well, you have to, you have to, you have to link me. Um, you have to link me up. And we see how best we can get the merch out. Because we're just basically just launching the merch. It's not fully out there as yet. You know, just wearing them. So if you see it and like it, you can definitely reach out. Number 350-5459. Reach out and we could see what I go on. We don't finalize pricing and them thing there yet, but by probably by the time you see this video, all of that we finalize. So you might never know. Just reach out. Alright? Smell the aroma from the dumpling. And you see the colour. I'm not sure if the camera pick up the color, but it have that nice, almost brown color, you know? Yeah. So we're going to check the water. All right, the water hot. A key to making smooth, neat dumpling. Wash off your hand, yeah. No, sir. Go to wash off your hand, make it dry. And then you just need a flour. Mm -hmm. As when enough people don't know is that the, the flour up on your hand might be interfering with <laughs> the smoothness of your dumpling. See? I mean, a man from the dumpling that look good when I eat it. No, so I don't want an ugly dumpling. So, people. Stay tuned, the time I come in back, I get the flour in the pot. Alright people, so what you are going, we got leftovers and of course we don't waste it so we'll get it in the pot. See? Change the colour of the water. Make it darker. Alright, watch you now. If you're familiar with anything from me, you know, say a roll and press with you. When I say roll and press, we mean roll and one press and get it in the pot. See? Yeah, one press and we get it in. Yeah, we don't do two or three press and one press. Yeah, man. So that's what we're doing. We do coffee down there. I notice my hand is still clean, no stickiness now left for my hand. So you know, say, flour, well need. Okay, we need too much flour for the pot. Yeah? I'm going to put in some green banana in it. I'm going to make climb up, peel the banana them and get them in as soon as I get in the floor. And people, watch out now. I see somebody tell me, say, um, you put in the food. Food as in banana, dashi, cocoa, yam before the floor. That is not true. See, if you put it in that way, there, well, that's up to you, but listen, listen to the logics behind it, you know. Dumpling, 
or something where you can cook for longer. See? But as soon as the banana overcook, it starts break, it starts mash out. The yam, same thing, especially if a white yam or soft yam. The Irish sweet potato, all of the other food, if you don't mind sharp, they will mash up and you don't want that. But the dumpling, on the other hand, now nah, go mash up. So you put in the dumpling first and make the dumpling go and cook. Because by the time the dumpling cook, you put in half cook, you put in your food. So everything cook same time. And even if the dumpling cook before the food, you don't have no problem. Because dumpling now nah, go mash up on you. See? I don't know if I can put no more dumpling in the pot. So I just get a turn around so they don't stick. So the water we would have to take out. Take out some of the water because water too much. I don't want it to boil over. Same again, okay. 15 at least, 2 or 3 more night. Now go put no more night because more get left space to get in the banana night. See? So, we are going to make it cook for a while before we actually. Start peeling the banana. So now stay tuned when we come back, we'll get the banana in. Alright people, coffee. Dumping them a bubble in a pot. So we call it again. The liver ready. So right now we are getting some banana in it. So if you don't know how to peel banana <laughs> Yeah, if you're watching from another country And you don't know how to peel banana Basically what you do, run your knife down the seam And the seam are any one of these lines basically Yeah, you can get in some oil in the water just to prevent staining on your hands Right? So basically, what you're going to do, cut the top and the bottom of the banana. Use your knife and follow the seam down. And then you just carefully deliver your banana from the skin. Alright, so cut the top and the bottom. Seam, find one of the seam. Lightly run the knife down. Because if you go too deep, your banana will split. Especially if your banana is not. Fully full. <laughs> Alright, and just like this, carefully deliver your banana from the skin, guys. And if you do it right, you, you should have a perfect banana. See it? You now have, you have no green something on it where you have to use knife and shave off. And you know what say? Yeah. One time when I'm going to peel banana, you guys just go to and cut all of them, Cut off you like you have peel the right banana. Yeah? So guys, we're gonna get the rest of the banana then peel up and then we get it in the pot. Now recently we get to find out that a lot of persons actually cook them banana in the skin and then when it cook them take it out of the skin. But we don't do that. We only do that with like ripe planting. See? But we put one of the banana peel in the pot to prevent the water from turning black alrighty so we'll show you all of that when you know we're getting the bananas in the pot so stay tuned until we get in them in so you want to pay for our going now get the meat share out Okay. 
nôm chín Yeah, people. So them say, I mean, I first want to try this. Um, got some liver and some coffee dumpling, you know. First time trying coffee dumpling. Just to take some some of the aroma. See what this tastes, you know. Trust me, nice. The, 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 the coffee not over strong, you know, you just have a little taste of it. Because, of course, the, 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 the boiling water go kind of take down the, 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 the strength of it, so you'll get that nice little aftertaste. Nice bad, you know. Mm -hmm. And then the, the liver, well cooked. Have a wicked flavor, well nice, well well nice, huh? Eh? Mm -hmm. If you know what I want to believe, try that one. Eh? You won't regret it. First time in history, coffee dumpling. So when people are going to film one and now, a coffee dumping and a banana. And I'm going to know it is now. First time I will try it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Why are you going to put a slave flower in the camera? Make me flow. Be here and don't be me. Give me a banana here now. Banana is half and nice, my people. Remember, if you like, share, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Big up Colour Smith TV, see him here. We don't know him if you go over and channel and give him a subscribe, see him here, my people. See you in the next video. Peace out.